All right, guys, uh, just here to let you know the new update. Patch notes are here. There is a lot to discuss. I am going to try and keep it short. One of the big things they're talking about is fishing comes in the, into the game. So if you come all the way down, it'll talk about fishing, new activity, starting at level 43. So just like your uh, cert server paragon to get into this is all non-paragon it's just like you get into the shadows you need to be level 43 before you can start you get the quest the greatest pastime quest so you can pick a spot and go fishing there are going to be three zones where you can fish ashwood cemetery Bi biofin frozen tundra and you can buy unlimited bait you can only hold 99 at a time but at 200 a pop We'll just say if the gambler, the rare antiquities dude, wasn't a big waste of taking your money, so is the bait in this game. But what is really cool that they're doing with fishing, it does tell you you can hold 99 pieces. It's unlimited bait. Um, you can hold the icon displaying long or short and try and catch fish. They are adding... A new fishing bestiary page for the angler's log it's part of your bestiary um 40 different unique types of fishes there also is an angler's log reward dedicated to adventurers to collect catching amounts of unique fish and how they're going to do it is by the number you've caught the highest weight you've caught and the highest weight caught on your server so if you're thinking about fishing just think about one guy. You will have to compete against this guy. This guy right here is the new world fishing champ of the world. We'll just put it out there. If you're not a bot doing this fishing, they really fucked up here. They are giving XP. So while this dude is not in BGs, he is going to be fishing his little heart out. And you will have to compete against this guy for trying to get those rewards. But... Back to the actual update. One thing that I find really crazy is things is there's five categories of fish right here. You have common, uncommon, rare, legendary, and mythic. And as you can see, they will all give a certain amount of gold and XP. Um, the biggest thing that's killing me is... You got a chance for such items of rarity and new aesthetics for your fishing rod. So you're giving us cosmetics for the fishing rod. But then when it comes to some cosmetics for our wings. Come on now. You're giving us fishing rod cosmetics, but you're not going to give us actual cosmetics for the wings. We're just stuck with these wings right here. No 7K wings, no cosmetic wings, but fishing cosmetic wings. That's cool. All right, so besides fishing, if we scroll all the way back up, they are going to be shutting down the servers on the 22nd for us, the 21st for everybody overseas, and then bam, right there, 36 more legendaries. I'm not going to dive too much into it. If you want to read it, I will leave the link in here. But Barbarian's getting five new legendaries right here. The Crusader is getting another five legendaries right here. Demon Hunter, Monk, and the Necro, followed by the Wizard. So we'll have to see how those legendaries affect the game. I'm not going to give my opinion on it. The big opinion that I wanted to give was on the rune system redesign, which if you are a whale, this is something you've been looking forward to because for as of late, our bag is just full of runes stacked to the gills, 99 runes like crazy. And what this update actually says, we're simplifying how the runes are being streamlined for overall experience, providing more use for your runes. Runes will receive rare and legendary crests, also increasing the support of the reorganization. Crests will no longer drop at runes 
or a large variety of common and magic runes. Thank God. Whether you're free to play or a whale and you're constantly trying to level up your gems, uh, this was always becoming a big issue because occasionally it does say your bag's getting full and I only have four and a half, five rows left depending on what's in my bag. Um, instead, they're going to drop rare cre rare crest will now drop four AST runes and legendary crest will drop one AST rune. Uh, so it kind of is kind of cool that it's giving us an excuse to use all our rare crests up to get more AST runes and legendary crests still give that one. But AST runes can be used to bound legendary gems at the jeweler. Um, they, for now, will also remove the fading ember cost with crafting these. A big, big thing that's coming down is fading embers can still be used to craft random unbound legendary gems, so they're not changing the way that works. But they can be used to purchase AST runes. The Apprentice Jeweler will now be a one-stop shop for all your legendaries. There will be no longer to convert a need to convert your runes to craft legendary gems. The cost for crafting is both bound and unbound legendary gems have changed to the following. 20 AST runes for one bound one star, 80 for a two star, five fading embers for one AST rune, 100 fading embers for one random bound legendary, 320 for an internal legendary crest, 320 fading embers for a random unbound one to five star, 400 fading embers for a random unbound two star. To smooth the transition and forward time investing players, Sarah will also have several conversion functions intended to convert your old currency into the new ones at the following rates. This is what we we're looking for. It can finally clean up our bags. Eight common runes for one AST rune, two magic runes for one AST rune, one Atti rune for three AST runes, and one FA rune for 18 fading embers. So that's going to get us to clean up a lot of our bag. And then obviously a lot of people are also curious about the new gem drop. New gem drop. Uh, they're doing a refinement is what they're talking about, increasing the percentage of you getting gems. Uh, until you increase your maximum gem to rank 10. If most of you have already watched DM's video, you know it's a lot of gems. We know it's over 19,000 gems. Rank 1 to get to rank 10. So it is a thing over the course of the game that's going to take it. But it also says normal gems of all colors will provide the same increase at the respective rank. So you're probably going to see a lot of gems that normally don't get bought up are going to get bought up if that's the case. Like health-based gems counting for your health-based gear, so your red gems, and then you have your damage gems. Those are your base attributes is life and damage, so that's what the gems are going to be working towards. They're increasing the drop rate of hidden layers. Now you can get nine bound normal gems plus a bonus nine unbound. So that's 18 from hidden layers. Uh, the chances of finding these will decrease with each hidden layer run. First two hidden layers being the most efficient. Um, so with that being said, it kind of kind of seems like you may have the opportunity to get more. It might be like open world farming where the rate just drops so low that you won't be able to get anything. But for now, we'll just go with the 9 and 9, so 18 gems, two layers. Um, another thing that they're doing that makes it really easy for some people that don't farm hidden layers in specific areas is the only thing they like to do is they're making this improvement showing once a hidden layer spawns once you start to get close to a hidden layer you'll receive additional props on your mini map which your mini map right up here is gonna show you where they are in the right direction so you're probably gonna get some type of arrows or something We'll we'll just have to see what what comes of this. Um, 
the developer's notes we recognize normal gems are rather scarce to help elevate this we're providing additional ways to gain both bound and unbound gems the goal is to provide more normal gems that potentially can be sold at the market we are placing these in hidden layers while increasing the re replayability of hidden layers blah 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 um another big thing if you guys have done the endless they're now making combat gloves both frenzy and charged where charged gives you your ultimate frenzy does increased damage those are going to be dropping as you're killing mobs so that's kind of cool because then you can just blow through your ultimate you can farm it up for before going into a vault going into a bg just go kill some mobs get it up real quick um that is pretty cool that they are throwing that into the game we already discussed fishing Told you there's new legendaries coming out. They're adding a new page to the bestiary. And a new life balance of the game is they're adding an activity scheduler and calendar for Warband and Clan where you can basically turn on notifications. You can fast navigate. It'll show what's featured, what's coming today. So some active discords, we have the Diablo Immortal bot that is telling us when events are coming up and they ping the Discord. But for some people that aren't using Discord that are just on their phone, this is a uh, good avenue to have all these active. So you'll get a notification that's probably more than likely just gonna pop up on your bar here. And it's gonna pop up just like Raid in the Shadow Vault, PVP's available, Get your blessings, all that stuff, Shadow War, right, all pops there. That's where I'm thinking these notifications, because when you're immortal, you could, if you got tired of the shadow alarm going off, you could actually silence that, and that's where that pops. So that's what I think. Um, going through, there was no more additional bug fixes. They are doing the Asia merges, and we get another Hungering Moon limited event. So... With that being said, that seems to sum up the update really quick. Um, didn't want to go too crazy in depth into all, all the gear, but I will have this link in here. So if you want to read it, and remember, when you're out there fishing, think of this guy, try and beat this guy, especially if you're on one of the four servers that are the three other servers that are merged with Zoltan Cool, you have this guy to compete with. So until my next video, I will uh, see you later. Hit that subscribe button down below and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.